When thinking about the Art Deco period, for me, I will think about Lanva, I will think about Vionnet and the real huge changes she made within fashion and cutting. But you can't really think about that period without thinking about Lucien Lelong. Now, it's a name that's generally been forgotten, apart from perhaps a little academic, nerdy approach to fashion, but his work was unbelievable. He designed his first collection in 1907, but really by the 30s, he'd really hit his stride. He was very talented, he absolutely understood fashion, but what to me was the most interesting thing about him as a designer, as a man, was his approach to business, because Lelong, by the 30s, wasn't designing dresses himself. He was talent spotting. He was going out and he was finding always the next generation, always the next person. So Givenchy, Balmain and Dior were all spotted by Lucien Lelong. They all worked for him in the 1930s and 1940s. So things that can bear his label can actually be by some of the most famous designers of the 20th century. This dress behind me from about 1936, 1937 is kind of the definition of stealth chic. It might read as a solid black. It's actually got about 30,000 black glass bugle beads, perfectly set and balanced on it, finished with Swarovski faceted crystals and cabochon cut crystals. So the whole thing glimmers, it sheens, it moves. It's, it's like looking at petrol. It's the most amazing expression of that 30s glamour and opulence. Now, apart from his job as a talent spotter for his own company, Lelong really saved Paris and saved our definition of fashion because during the Second World War, he wasn't just running the House of Lelong, he was also the president of the Chambre Syndicale de la Couture. He, he was the governor, if you like, of Haute Couture. And at a time when Paris was under Nazi occupation, Hitler wanted the new heartland of fashion to become Berlin. He wanted to see the end of Parisian design, of all of those great names. He wanted them to disappear for a whole new generation of German designers to come to the fore. It was Lelong that stopped that. It was Lelong that reasoned with Hitler to understand he had far more chance of actually winning everybody over culturally if he kept that language in place in Paris. And obviously through that war period, Haute Couture was, was decimated. A small number of designers were able to hold their own but it was because of Lelong it stayed a part of the Parisian psyche. He understood not just talent, not just trade, he understood that much more ephemeral thing about fashion, which is the identity of the people that go into it and what it actually means being a citizen of Paris.